Hello Capricorn, welcome into my channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot, and I'm here to present to you your weekly tarot messages. So messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign from the Divine Tarot cards here. Let's get started. Capricorn, I see that you're really focusing on your money right now. Some of you could be in business or wanting to start a business. And I feel like this business is surrounded, um, surrounded by creativity, something that you're good at. It could be a motherly energy too. I feel like your intention is to be grounded and stable. Right now, I feel like you're really zoning in on developing yourself financially. I also want to say to uh, look inside of yourself. Um, maybe some of you are being dazzled or drawn by the, 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 like you're, you're drawn to the potential that having a lot of money could what it could mean for you as if Capricorn you're just really focusing on what what if I had enough money I could do this and do this as it's like you're in that trance that that phase of wanting to achieve so maybe for some of you you don't already um, you haven't already manifested this in your life and so maybe it's going to take you looking inside I feel look at this queen with her flower I feel like this flower represents her virtues it represents her soul, her connection to life, her connection to her sense of value. And so if you're trying to manifest some money, I feel Capricorn, check out your, your value, what it is that you're offering makes you feel good, something that's going to make you feel good. Um, you could have a fire sign in your life, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, I think you feel is attractive or they are often very attracted to you. Um, this person is the person in your life as if they admire you and they appreciate you as if they they like looking into your world reading your story knowing what you're about right you interest them you pique their curiosity this person some of you could be going off to study um, study to work possibly turning burdens into light Maybe just wanting to make that money come in for you. So doing what it is that you have to do. Some of you could be receiving messages. Somebody going off or getting good messages that someone is coming out on top here. Someone is being successful. Maybe in work too. And this is another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe going off to work. But the message here is that they're going to be successful. They're coming back. So maybe they're traveling overseas because this is the ship's card. Coming back with the ships. Um, you know, as if, for example, uh, you go off to war and then you come off with all of, you come back with the spoils from war. So you're triumphant. So this person is going to come back successfully. So everything is working out here. I see in that. So let's continue. <clears throat> There's this fire sign energy again. It's like a gift, some innate ability to present leadership qualities to lead to to really tap into that power that desire passion and to lead and then i see here where someone is going off again searching you know i feel like this is diving inside of oneself really uh contemplating what it is that they've been doing moving forward maybe wanting forgiveness wanting peace, wanting to heal, wanting to start anew. This is also an opportunity of a new business coming to light. So new opportunities for success here. Some of you may really be in that mode of creating this business. And this could be this fire sign person, right? Dreaming up a new business idea, a new business plan. Justice card. See, it's there's balance here for you. It's it feels like victory once again, as if you're being watched over. Maybe you're being called to, to go with your heart. 
um, maybe you're being called to be more direct and to bring balance. Maybe you bring balance to the situation. Someone is also following their heart space here. Going with their heart. Maybe leaving the opinions of others behind. Traveling. Someone is traveling. Mm. Moving past suspicion to Capricorn. Moving past doubt. Moving past maybe fear of being left behind or move you know being left and so the secrets are being revealed are moving past this phase where there are secrets you know that cloud of mystery of not being aware of what is going on so moving out of that energy coming into stability financially so it could be moving out of uh, being uncertain about your financial status right and maybe I'm moving now, really focusing on becoming financially stable, starting a business. So this dream that you've been dreaming, it's going to cause you to become financially stable. So maybe you are contemplating starting a business, Capricorn. Okay? So I feel like you're going to be successful here. <clears throat> Some of you feel emotional. You could have emotions for another person like you want to offer some love this could be you wanting some love and attention right now maybe you want to go out and offer love to someone or maybe someone is sending messages of love to you i feel like it's going to cause you to feel good something is it's causing you to feel emotionally maybe even emotionally unstable a bit but wanting to be grounded hmm Maybe in your house or your living situations, you feel unbalanced. Maybe feeling like you don't have the energy or the clarity to move forward in the way that will serve you. I feel like your heart space is attached to something in your past. Your heart is held as if held as if there's a string from the past that is still attached to your heart. And it sort of keeps you from moving forward out of this energy of feeling trapped. And this is the same energy, a similar energy of there being secrets and uncertainty, cloudedness, judgment, um, not being sure where to go for it, how to put your foot down. Maybe a bit of confusion about someone that's, that's offering you love or offered you love. Okay, so maybe you kind of fear also, Capricorn, that you'll be alone. You're, you're afraid of being alone, some of you. But you're very grounded and stable. Some of you have family and love around you. But there's, I feel like there's something that you're sitting up on that hides a lot of nerves and maybe some anxiety, right? And maybe it does cause you to to block or to put up boundaries in your life maybe when it comes to love receiving love so in this week we see for you coming up maybe a feeling of being stuck of blocking maybe um, going back in the past feeling some past emotions maybe someone from your past wants to come back and offer you love this is a cancer Pisces or Scorpio and then mm, I feel like you're going to be aligning. You're maybe welcoming. This is this feels like business energy, welcoming something in business, moving forward. I feel like maybe tapping into your leadership qualities, Capricorn. Being brave. Yes, I feel like bravery is coming through for you, Capricorn, some of you could be married or contemplating marriage. For some of you, you're blocking the idea of marriage. I do feel like there was a bit of trauma maybe in your past, right? And it kept it keeps you from really tapping into your emotions. Maybe you're blocking marriage, a marriage proposal. But I feel in the end, you, you may very well get married, right, Capricorn? And last card here, oh... So yes, this is the Ten of Swords. So I feel like things are coming to an end. There's going to be clarity coming through for you. The Moon card here. 
it's almost like secrets are being something is coming to light for you that's going to pave a way for clarity it's going to open your eyes it's like a aha moment maybe for you to see that maybe something wasn't as they seemed to you and it's going to cause you to kind of level up and move forward not really stay stuck but move forward find a strength in you to move forward and when you get from the eight of the swords to the ten you're feeling the hurt you're not denying it kind of it kind of frees you and then you realize that you do have what it takes to get up and start over because the ten is the end of the, and then there's a new beginning with the one at the bottom of the deck here I have the tower oh my gosh the end you see because the tower card is an ending something has ended it's probably ended a relationship or some feelings of hurt betrayal from your past situations okay so I do at the end believe that there's a victory coming in for you there's many opportunities coming in for you so the end is could be between uh, well two water signs or an earth sign and a water sign this could be business this could be something that has blown up this could be a mind a breakthrough for some people <laughs> um, like something mind shattering and this is actually very divine this ending it is heavenly orchestrated and so even if you fall something will come into place so be strong in the moments when you feel hurt and know that justice is coming through for you remember that whatever you're working on is going to manifest for you and come in abundance okay capricorn thank you so much this is the end of your reading i do hope you find messages here that resonates with you and are able to help you along your journey thank you so much and i'll see you next time until then remember capricorn that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all, so dream big. All is within you. Much love. Take care.